The second part of our video tutorial series of the Mac test software is uh, specifically dedicated to the setup of the hardware which is uh, used during uh, the testing. In uh, this uh, second part I will show you the devices that are required for uh, the test and how to connect them uh, together. Before we start let me remind you that it is very important to follow all the technical and uh, security specification that we provide together with the hardware in order to avoid injuries to the operators and damages to the things. First of all we need a function generator which is uh, equipped with a GPIB interface in order to connect it to the computer and uh, two multimeters. The first multimeter is uh, used to read the information coming from a current probe while the second uh, multimeter is uh, used to measure the signal coming from the monitoring group. For uh, this uh, second uh, device we also need a six part termination. It is very important that the multimeters could also be connected to the computer using uh, a GPIB communication protocol. We need then uh, the power amplifier LFPA9733 or other version and uh, the compensation network MFCN9734 or other version which uh, is connected directly to the current probe 9610. Then we have uh, our uh, Elmo's coil and uh, in the middle of the Elmo's coil we can uh, place our monitoring loop the uh, FSP5133741. Now we will uh, see how to connect all uh, the devices together. The first thing that we must uh, perform is the connection between the function generator and the input of the power amplifier using a BNC cable. And then using a, a, a BNC cable you can connect the output of the current probe to the multimeter and the output uh, of the monitoring loop uh, to the second uh, multimeter. The power amplifier is then connected using the provided cables to the compensation network and finally the Elmo's coil is connected to the compensation network using the marked test cables. This is uh, basically the setup that uh, we will uh, use in the following test and uh, in the following part of our uh, video tutorials we will show you how to configure all the GPIB interfaces in order to communicate uh, with uh, the function generator and the multimeters.